You're very welcome here to South London Refugee Association and to our not-so-secret garden. We, just for those of you who don't know anything about SLRA, we're a, a local charity. We've been around for quite a long time. Last year we had our 25th anniversary and we provide sort of a wide range of support to people who are refugees, asylum seekers, people who we call vulnerable migrants who are sort of new to the country, have made a journey here for whatever reason and are often just struggling to build secure lives for themselves. Thanks very much for inviting me along to this wonderful show. The risk of saying something absolutely blindingly obvious, we are all migrants, migrating is what people do. Us humans, we don't stay still, we move. And when we move, we take our whole selves with us. We take all our stories with us and we take our creativity with us. And that's what we're celebrating through this tonight. When I was coming here, I was kind of, sometimes I wonder why I do what I do. We all do. I work in a museum, why I think the art is important, why do I think that working with refugees is important. And when I arrived here, I realized why. And it's to do with the real core of what, as humans, we can offer, which is uh, a smile, an eye contact, and an opportunity to engage and to be part of something. Getting involved in projects like this is really, really amazing. So I've just been and seen some of the artworks, and they're really, really phenomenal. And interesting to think of the kind of different discourses about refugees. It's nice to do practical things, it's important to do political things and also to do kind of artistic and critical things and I think this kind of event combines all of those. So often when we talk about refugees we talk about them in terms of being hapless, hopeless victims of circumstance and as though they somehow their humanity shrinks and they become passive but of course the reality is we stay a hundred percent human whatever the situation we're in and one of the markers of that 100% humanity is creativity, self-expression.